you guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope this video finds you well in all of your yearly goals. Today I wanted to share with you three free tools that I have been finding help me so much when it comes to balancing work-life balance, relationship, friends, everything else. These have been helping me with my diet and fitness, the skills I want to learn this year, and how to better manage my time. So without any further ado, here are my top three free self-improvement tools. The first one I have to recommend is called My Fitness Pal. It is available online and it is also a cell phone app. This tool allows you to make a profile where you can privately enter in your current weight, the goal that you want to hit, and how you plan on achieving it. You also will type in how active you are on a day-to-day -day basis and how many days a week you plan on working out. With that information, MyFitnessPal calculates your caloric intake and how many calories you should try to burn every day with exercise. Now when I was first given this app, I was a little bit skeptical because I thought, really, is this website really going to do it for me? Don't I need to hire like a trainer or nutritionist? But every day you type in what you're eating and the tool makes it really easy to log everything you eat for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks and your water intake and, it, and at the end of the day it allows you to type in any notes at the bottom of that page's daily profile and when you're all done you click complete and then it will tell you at the bottom how much weight you should expect to lose in six weeks time i can tell you honestly not sponsored in any way side note none of these are sponsored that my fitness pal if you stay on track you will lose the amount of weight that it says you will lose Again, I am not a registered dietitian or doctor, but I do recommend if you try my fitness pal, it'll ask you how much you want to lose per week. I recommend going with one pound. Any more, you have such a big caloric deficit, and any less, you won't feel like you're making the progress. So I recommend one pound, and you'll get through that when you go through your goals. Number two is a website called Skillshare. Skillshare allows you to take any kind of online class. I've taken things from how to knit a scarf, how to make a Pinterest pin, how to cook an authentic Italian dinner, to how to schedule and put together an entire website on your own. Typically Skillshare is $9.95 per month, but if you click the link down in the description box below, it'll allow two months of free browsing to any class you can find. The best part about Skillshare is it allows you to make a folder of classes you find interesting. That way when you log back on with more time, you can pick up where you left off in any class or start any of your other interested classes at any time. I completely recommend it. I have used Skillshare on my lunch breaks, in between working with clients at home. I actually have a notebook that has everything that I have learned in Skillshare because I think I've got about a month and a half left on my trial. I'm, I'm on a trial just like you guys would be if you try it, but I highly recommend it. Go check it out. And number three is my top recommendation for those looking for a little bit of a time management and productivity app. It's called Tide, and Tide promotes what's called the Pomodoro Technique, which basically says you will focus, uber focus on one activity for 25 minutes. And once that 25 minutes have ended, you'll take a break from anywhere between 5 and 15 minutes before continuing the process all over again. Tide allows you to press start, 25 minutes will go by and you can set background noise or no background noise, and then when the bell dings on your phone, you can take a 5 to 15 minute break. When I use Tide, I actually press the start button and then I place it somewhere out of reach. That way I can hear the background noise. I like to have either like the forest or the cafe background sounds. I know it's still going on because I can hear it, but I don't have the urge to go touch my phone because as long as I'm trying to focus on the task at hand, I want all distractions out of the way. And just putting it off to the side but still hearing it lets me know, okay, I have to stay focused until I hear that timer. Tide is available in the App Store completely for free. Like the other two, go ahead and check that out. But anyway, those are my top three free tools that I have used for self-improvement this year. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have anything that you would like to add, something that is helping you get through your yearly goals, please leave them down in the description box below. I look forward to seeing them. If you like these kind of self-improvement videos, make sure to give this one a thumbs up. And if you're new here, click the subscription button down below. It'll update you each and every time I upload a new video. Guys, best of luck with all of your yearly goals, and I'll see you in the next video.